And we are continuing our open doors uh, with our next info session, which is dedicated to natural sciences, first part. And today with me, I have uh, Anu, who is going to introduce two programs, Applied Measurement Science and Excellence in Analytical Chemistry. So during the session, I would like to remind you that you have also a wonderful opportunity to leave your questions and then we will answer them online. So you can see if you are joining us from workshop, you can see that next to each info session, there is a Q&A button and you can just leave your question there and then we will answer your online. And then uh, we also have uh, Facebook and YouTube streaming. You can also ask your questions there. But uh, if you want them to be answered live, then please join the workshop. Uh, so all in all, let's uh, maybe start with our presentations. And Anna today is going to present in two presentations in a row. Uh, so let's learn more about applied measurement science and excellence in analytical chemistry. So Anu, is the floor is yours. Thank you. Hello, I am Manu and uh, as already introduced, uh, I have two programs that are coordinated by the Institute of Chemistry under the University of Tartu. So I will start with applied measurement science and I will first uh, explain why measurements are important. So measurement uh, results are used uh, for many critical decisions, uh, whether in uh, economics or medical or, or social and then roughly 40 percent of EU directives are involved measurements and then the need for measurements uh, uh, and importance of measurement results is constantly increasing so the main issues here in this area are the uh, increasing number and uh, and variety of measurements and tests needed and uh, at the same time lack of skilled specialists. So the key to success is education. So we need to have some kind of uh, programs that uh, aim to qualify specialists in areas uh, related to measurement science and, and quality assurance and things like that. And Applied Measurement Science Master Program does exactly that. So it's a, a program that combines different aspects, physical measurements, uh, chemical analysis, quality management uh, and uh, metrology, and also touches on economic, legal and social aspects of these these uh, disciplines and it's a, a two-year master program 120 ECTS that has courses in chemistry physics um, measurement science data handling data management and also includes internship or practical placement and in addition to this it also has a, a mobility window built into it so it the program encourages students to go abroad, study abroad for a semester. And there is also this possibility to add uh, measurement science in chemistry summer school and uh, massive open online courses uh, into the curriculum. Uh, a very important question, will you find a job after graduating the AMS uh, program? And the answer is yes. So. Uh, the specialist that the program uh, or, or pro provides then is uh, are needed in areas uh, uh, that are very broad. So main, mainly they work in labs, uh, in governmental or 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 scientific labs, and uh, also they they work in. Uh, quality assurance field and also as um, engineers and also a very popular options am option among our alumni is uh, continuing their studies in PhD level. And uh, some technicalities about the program. So the tuition fee for the program is 5,000 euros per year 
and there are few scholarship options uh, available. So there is Dora Plus Action 2.1 to fund your studies and during your studies you have the access to Erasmus Plus Mobility Scholarship for Credit Mobility and Traineeship and also achievement uh, and need based uh, stipends are, are available. And how to apply for this program? The deadline is uh, March 15 and uh, for entry you must have bachelor's degree uh, or you can also graduate during the summer <laughs> and uh, the prerequisite is that you have 18, 18 ECTS worth of uh, uh, courses in chemistry or physics and also English uh, language requirements uh, are listed on the link, uh, the first link on, the, on this slide. And the ev evaluation or ranking is based on two um, things. So first your average grade of the previous study level and also motivation letter is taken into account. And more details about the application and also how to apply is uh, provided uh, under the link uh, on the bottom of this slide. So you can read more. And this brings me to our next program that we have in the Institute of Chemistry, the Excellence in Analytical Chemistry, that is an Erasmus Mundus uh, joint master's degree program coordinated by the University of Tartu and involves also Uppsala University, uh, Claude Bernard, uh, Lyon 1 uh, University and Oba Academy University. And this program is specifically designed to qualify specialists in analytical chemi chemistry and is very practice oriented. But first, let's look uh, if there is also uh, if there is a need for analytical chemists. So, uh, as you can see from this, uh, or this graph shows then the recent uh, graduates of. Uh, different chemistry disciplines in Europe and uh, the orange bars then represent the uh, uh, job market needs. And as you can see the gap between uh, uh, analyt uh, chem chemist or analytical chemistry specialists uh, and uh, the job market uh, actual needs is uh, one of the biggest here. So yes, definitely we need more analytical chemists. <laughs> and uh, this is why we have excellence in analytical chemistry program. And the program is uh, uh, run by uh, four European universities. And uh, during your first year, you will study at the University of Tartu, the coordinating uh, university and uh, this year is uh, aimed to give you knowledge about fundamentals in analytical chemistry, metrology and uh, quality assurance, but also in socio-economical aspects. And the first year also will prepare you for your second study year at uh, one of the three partner universities. So uh, for Uppsala University, the specialization is in organic and bioorganic chemistry, uh, in advanced separation methods and mass spectrometry. In University uh, Claude Bernard Lyon 1, you will uh, uh, specialize in, in industrial analysis, process control and monitoring. And in Oba Academy University, uh, you will specialize in advanced uh, analytical devices, sensors and miniaturization. A uh, very important part of the, each program is uh, selection for the study tracks or assignment for your second study year. And this is done at the end of uh, first semester. And uh, uh, the first thing that uh, counts is the student's uh, preference. And if needed, also their uh, GPA of the obligatory courses from the first semester is taken into account. And the final decision is made during the winter school at the end of semester one. 
So by the second semester, you will already know where you will study during your second study year. So other activities uh, like the AMS program, uh, the, each program also contains different types of courses. So in addition to normal courses, you also have the practical placement or internship that is usually done be between year one and two during the summer. And uh, also a compulsory part of the each program is the winter school that takes place uh, at the end of uh, January uh, uh, in year one and also in year two. And uh, as for the AMS program, you can also include uh, the MS, uh, MSc summer school or MOOCs into your curriculum. Uh, again, will you find a job after graduating? Yes, uh, so uh, the success story of the each program is uh, uh, quite, quite good. So 86% uh, of our graduates have found a position within 12 months after graduation. And to be honest, the, uh, quite a lot of them secure a position even, even quick, more quickly or even before they have graduated. And the examples where they work, uh, as what kind of uh, position they get, and then also lo the location where they work is quite impressive. So the, the, our, our graduates are all over the world now, so. <laughs> Uh, the tuition fee uh, for the each program is uh, depends whether you're a program country student or student or a pa uh, partner country student. But the details are quite difficult, and so I suggest that you read more about those on the link that is provided on the slide. Uh, the program, as it is a Erasmus Mundus program, offers scholarships that cover your tuition fee uh, and the tuition fee also includes full insurance and also have uh, monthly allowances for up to 24 months, uh, travel allowance twice per year, uh, twice per program, sorry, and then uh, if applicable also installation allowance uh, once per program. And uh, uh, the program also offers tuition waiver scholarship that cover only tuition fee. Uh, how to apply for this program? Well, uh, for this year, the application round has already finished. Uh, so uh, uh, the next round uh, for intake 2023 then will open in the first half of November. And for admission, you will need a bachelor's degree with at least 60 CTS in chemistry and, uh, or, or, or chemical engineering, and also 20 CTS in mathematics and or physics. And also English is required. But the list of requirements is quite long, so I, I suggest that you have a look at the link that is provided on this slide. And the ranking is uh, based on three elements. So the average grade of the previous study level is taken into account, the motivation letter, and also we have an uh, online test for uh, of prob uh, some chemical problems that you have to solve. And uh, uh, currently the admission information applies for Intake 2022. We will update the uh, web page uh, somewhere in September or early October, but overall the, the, the admission requirements will remain similar to the ones that are presented at, uh, at the web page at the moment. And finally, I will just uh, briefly show you the study locations and also uh, uh, show you the people you can contact. So the home uh, for these two programs is the Institute of Chemistry on the University of Tartu or Chemicum. It's a rather new building. It opened in 2009. 
it provides uh, students with modern lecture rooms and uh, very nicely equipped labs. And next to it, we have Physicum, the Institute of Physics and the University of Tartu, that is even uh, a newer building. It uh, opened in 2014. So, so the teaching facilities are among the top in Europe. The academic coordinator of those programs is Professor Ivo Leito, and uh, he is most knowledgeable in all the academic questions. So if you have questions about the curriculum, the courses, uh, the internship uh, and stuff like that, then you can turn to him. He's, he's very responsive. <laughs> I am the administrative coordinator of those programs and I, you can turn to me when you have questions about uh, scholarships or insurance or Erasmus plus uh, mobility. So just send me an email. <laughs> and lastly, our colleagues at Study Abroad Center are always very happy to answer your question up questions about visas, resident permits, travel to Estonia, dormitory, and so on. So, thank you, and I hope to meet you all in Tartu very soon. Thank you very much, Anu, for presenting two of your programs <laughs> and for providing a very detailed overview about the programs, career opportunities, and also providing the uh, information about the buildings where actually the studies take place. And I also would like to point out that on Wednesday we are going to have online tours in this building. So those people who are interested to see how these buildings look like inside, I welcome you to join us on Wednesday and to see uh, them inside as well. Very nice. So right now, I guess we can open our Q&A session and we have quite some questions that arrived. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, let's start then from the first one. Uh, thanks for the session. Could you give us an idea about the process of completing a year or a semester abroad after joining Tartu University? Is that case, do we need to pay the tuition fees in Tartu or just at the hosting university? Thank you. So you will be a student of University of Tartu for the whole study time. So regardless where you actually study, you will be a student of University of Tartu. And yes, you have to pay the fees to the University of Tartu then. So, uh, yeah, you will not be... In case of AMS, you will count as a, a exchange student for the other university in case of each it's a bit different but basically you will, on the on the second study year you will be on the two universities then you will be also accepted to the second year university it's a bit different so <laughs> yeah it's a little bit different but with still yeah. university of tartu is the one who will get <laughs> then the tuition fee and then then we will provide the partner <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a little bit different from for excellence and analytics yes. in chemistry because uh, uh, the second year students supposed to stay abroad. Yes. So uh, probably I don't know if you would recommend to actually take an exchange year during the first year. Uh, no, uh, it's a very specific program, and the first year is uh, meant to kind of prepare you for your second uh, year for your specialization so you you will get your mobility already so uh, it's yeah it's nice to have yeah, some time it, in it, Tartu as yeah, well yeah. yeah and this is something that I, uh, that our uh, each alumni also point out that uh, during the first year they didn't think of traveling in Estonia and that is the i think one thing that they regret the most <laughs> because they come here to study and then focus. And during the second year, they then discovered that, oh, we can travel. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy Tartu as well. 
Yes, our next session is also dedicated to student experience and we have uh, students from both of the programs. So you can also stay with us and they will tell you more how mm -hmm. these studies are conducted and how much travel they can do or if they are forgetting to travel and then regretting <laughs> once they are moving to another country. Uh, so Anna, I know that you have been uh, talking already about career opportunities, but there is a question, where can I work after graduating applied measurement science? So we, we've, unfortunately, we do not have a very nice uh, statistic about the plate, applied measurement science as we do for the each program. But uh, many of our graduates have uh, found a job uh, here in Estonia. So they're working in different labs here or also under the government as um, uh, in some legal offices and advisors uh, for European Commission or something. So. Uh, it's quite broad, um, or, or the field w where you can work is quite broad. But but yeah, it's I'd say it's roughly fifty fifty. So uh, a lot of them continue in PhD, a lot of them continue here at the University of Tartu, or or choose another university in Estonia. Uh, but also a lot of them yeah have found the uh, jobs in in various labs in Estonia. So most of the graduates are staying in Estonia or? Uh, I would say yes that uh, in recent years maybe they have uh, our, our locations have also broadened but, uh, but up to now yes a lot of them remained in Estonia as well. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, then we have a question about internships. So I assume that there is a lot of practical trainings within both of the programs. So the question is, is the internship compulsory? Does the university help to find a place to conduct an internship? Yes, uh, the internship is compulsory and the university helps to find a placement. It's pretty difficult, but we have a nice list of partners and each year the academic coordinator does a great job in uh, securing positions and uh, when we know who is ready to take the uh, students then then the students can uh, then uh, start sending out emails and then the the professor al always uh, uh, guides and then helps uh, to to negotiate the, those positions so are there cases that the students are conducting internship at the University of Tartu or mostly outside? Uh, we prefer them going outside. Mm -hmm. And of course it's uh, possible if you find a placement for yourself, it's okay to do, but uh, we know it's difficult to find. So, and it doesn't have to be in Estonia, it can be outside of Estonia. So uh, we also, we also, it's very popular to go outside during the summer. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, uh, we a few students also prefer staying in our labs and doing it there. But if you have the chance to go outside, then I say go and see what what the real lab work is about. So yeah, then why not to try different labs yes. and even try and like have an internship abroad is a very good yes. opportunity. We we have a, we have a very good uh, Erasmus uh, uh, Plus office and, and very nice people over there and they so it's a very popular option as well. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, so I guess the next question is addressed to actually excellence in analytical chemistry program. Mm -hmm. The question is about uh, a problem solving test. Mm -hmm. So what uh, this test uh, what does online test on problem solving include? Uh, can you tell us more about it? I assume it is a part of the admission criteria to the program. Yes, yes, it's uh, uh, one of the criteria to, um, or one of the three, and uh, it's a very popular question as well. But unfortunately, I cannot tell much about it because it 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 gives an uh, advantage then. Uh, but it's normal chemi chemistry related problems and then uh, calculations mainly. So you don't have to, you don't have to go on uh, answering some theory questions or something. So it's, you have to calculate. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you very much for opening some small secrets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the next question is actually um, about the difference between excellence in analytical chemistry and applied measurement science. So I assume mm -hmm. the applicant uh, is choosing between these two programs and mm -hmm. trying to figure out which program would, would be better for mm -hmm. him or her. Yes, uh, thank you. This is... Very good question. And uh, these programs, uh, we call them sister programs. They're, they seem to be very similar. But uh, the main difference is that analytical excellence in analytical chemistry is uh, uh, totally um, or aimed at uh, qualifying only analytical chemists. So you will learn uh, how to measure, but you will learn it from only the chemistry perspective. Uh, applied measurement science is a bit broader. So um, measurements, it's not always only chemistry. So it's metrology in, uh, in broader terms. And it involves more physics and also data handling and, and uh, things like that. All right. Thank you very much. I hope uh, you will be able oh, yes, now I to pick <laughs> I <managed> to <laughs> between two programs. Uh, so the next question is, it seems that the application deadline for excellence in analytical, analytical chemistry is over. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that I cannot apply for the next academic year? And when can I apply? Mm. Yes, the, de uh, the admission for the each program runs uh, on different times uh, as the AMS program because it's an Erasmus Mundus program and it has a lot more steps compared to our own programs. Uh, so uh, the deadline passed uh, at January 11, so yes, for this year the there is no way we can include any any applicants anymore. But uh, the next uh, application round will open in uh, November 2022. And then you're all welcome to apply for it. Thank you very much. Maybe it also will help to the applicant who is choosing between two programs. Y so yes. if the applicant would like to join like from next academic year, then uh, mm -hmm. maybe applied measurement science uh, would be would be closer than yeah uh, it could be and if any questions remain then yeah our academic coordinator and i you can email or send us messages and then we will reply <laughs> gladly <laughs> We have another question regarding admission process. So uh, applicants are asking, is there admission interview? If yes, then what questions should we expect? No, we don't have the admission interview. So for the AMS program, we only have the motivation letter and then the GPA from the previous study level. And for the, for the each program, it also has the problem solving test then. Yeah, we don't do interviews. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, so how do courses look alike? Are your courses more lecture-based or discussion-based? Uh, how much uh, theoretical and practical knowledge uh, um, students get? It depends very much on the lecturer, but I, I would say that our lectures usually are more discussion-based. So the the Teachers uh, like to reflect on the classroom and then uh, use different type of uh, teaching methods. And also group works are very, very um, popular among the teachers. And, uh, and as far as I know, our teachers are very encouraging in uh, getting the students to discuss about problems. Which is really very, great. Very accommodating to questions. So. Yeah. I have another question about admissions. What average GPA should GPA should I have in order to apply? Did not specify the program, so maybe we can uh, <laughs> we can take two both programs? Yeah, I would say the higher the better. <laughs> so uh, one thing that you have to note is that uh, the each program usually uh, has a very tough competition for obvious reasons. So the scholarships are uh, very, uh, how to say, the high. 
yeah high demand and then we we get very very good applications each year uh, what you need to note is that uh, in order to be eligible for the eu scholarship or the erasmus Mundi scholarship you you need to have at least 75 percent of the final score from 100 so uh and and your general GPA will give you 40% maximum from this score. So uh, the yeah, I would say the higher the better, <laughs> because it's uh, it's one of the bigger elements in your final score. So and uh, for AMS program, uh, I think it was 66% of the final score was was needed to uh, 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 get admission at least mm -hmm. so it's it's dif different yeah. yeah the higher the better so yes. let's sum up <laughs> i would say yes <laughs> yes uh, so we have another question about the uh, uh, admission to excellence in analytical chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, so the question is, uh, uh, I'm from non-European Union country. Mm -hmm. How can I get a scholarship? So uh, uh, the Erasmus Mundus program will uh, provide 75% uh, scholarships to non-EU mm -hmm. students and then 25% will go to you. EU students or program students, sorry. Uh, so uh, the world for us is divided into program and partner country and uh, most of the scholarships are then uh, given out to students from outside EU, UK, uh, Switzerland uh, and uh, Serbia and Turkey and um, North Macedonia and something. There was one more country. <laughs> so basically, uh, 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 the partner country uh, students will get more scholarships or, or we have more scholarships for them and um, yeah you just have to apply <laughs> for the program and we provide us with information where you're from and then we we will already divide you into two groups and then yeah, and also probably pay attention on the academic background and the, all of yes, the documents the, it, that should be the, required. The admission process for the each program is uh, more comprehensive than for the applied measurement science program. So the list of documents that you need to provide is quite long and, uh, and uh, yeah, you, you need to invest in it, but uh, if you're successful, then the rewards are quite nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we have quite uh, some several questions about the motivation letters. Mm -hmm. so maybe you can comment uh, about motivation letters for both programs and what kind of motivation letter do you expect to actually mm -hmm. uh, select a successful applicant for the program? So maybe mm -hmm. some to some mm -hmm. ideas or some uh, questions that needs to be uh, that need to be answered. So um, for both programs, we have a short um, overview of what we expect from the motivation letter, and uh, uh, for the applied measurement science program, it's a bit. I, I don't want to say easier, but uh, more straightforward. You you need to just show your willingness to or or your interest in studying is in this field so you kind of just need to show this but for the each program there are uh, five different uh, uh, subcategories that we that we want to see uh, one of them being uh, your study track preferences so you you have to also uh, uh, answer the questions why you choose some kind of study track so uh, maybe maybe uh, the best advice is to just go to the uh, both of those web pages and then just see what we are looking for. But uh, what I have seen so far is that uh, the motivation letter uh, usually. Uh, 
how to say then it, you if you get the idea of the program the, then the motivation is also there <laughs> Yes, thank you very much for commenting on that because many people, of course, uh, yes, would like to produce a very good motivation letter <laughs> yes. to be on the top ranking. So mm -hmm. these tips are very useful. Yeah. Yes, again, it's a bigger part of, uh, of the admission criteria, yes. of course, so because if there is no interview, so basically your motivation yeah, letter. That, this has to be the, your interview. Then. Yes. So try to so. think that uh, how, how you can show that you're very, very interested in this program yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you our next question uh, what is the acceptance rate for individuals applying for uh, both programs <laughs> that's difficult to say <laughs> that's very difficult to say <laughs> it depends on a lot of things <laughs> So uh, we we usually have, um, f for example, for this year we have for the each program we have um, around twenty five positions, and sixteen uh, of them are then the Erasmus Mundus scholarship places, and uh, we also have tuition waiver places available, and. Uh, and some some of them are then uh, fee based pay, uh, spaces for the AMS program. I think it was ten. I uh, it's too many numbers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, but it's also possible to check it on the website because yeah, on our program the, uh, pages we have the number of yeah, places for is, each program. This is available and uh, usually, um, I don't want to say that we don't have that many applications, but uh, as the criteria are quite uh, specific, then uh, yes, the, let's say the competition for, for one place isn't that high. Maybe this is then will help <laughs> encourage you to apply still. <laughs> yes, I have another question about uh, excellence in analytical chemistry. Mm -hmm. So the question is about the uh, choosing the speciality. Mm -hmm. uh, does applicant need to choose or a student already need to choose the speciality during the first year? So it's already like the fate is decided and the, he or she will go to France or Sweden or Finland. Or how is it uh, uh, actually, how is it happening? Mm -hmm. So for the second study year, you have to go abroad. So this is how the program works. So first year is done at Tartu and then the second year you will do your specialization and thesis work at the uh, second location. But uh, we ask from the applicants already, uh, there are two um, preferences. And then uh, during the semester, we have seminars with uh, second year students, with uh, alumni, uh, Q&A sessions with them. So this uh, first year students can have, uh, can ask all the questions that they have about the second year and all the, uh, I mean, whatever questions about life, about travel. So, and uh, by the end of the first semester, by the end of January, you will have to then decide what do you want to do during your second year? And then the decision is made the, at the end of uh, first semester. And during the second semester, you can already uh, start uh, focusing on uh, going abroad. So there are special courses for each study track at Tartu as well. So you can prepare in advance. <laughs> so. But but yeah, there there is no option to delay it more. <laughs> I have also uh, one question which is related to this one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, about motivation letter and if the applicant should also indicate uh, what kind of path he or she would like to take uh, um, in the second year. So uh, the specialization wise. Yes, one of the points that we ask in the motivation letter for the each program is uh, 
actually we want to list two preferences so preference number one and preference number two uh, so these are included in the motivation letter so at the beginning you already can show your your preferences Thank you very much. I have another question about internship uh, at mm -hmm. the Excellence in Analytical Chemistry program. Mm -hmm. Is the inter internship available and uh, how can I choose my internship place? So from um, right after the winter school and year one, uh, at the beginning of the second semester, our professor starts sending out emails to companies, to labor laboratories, and other facilities uh, about uh, internship options. And then uh, uh, I think around March, the students then can start sending uh, emails to the available places. But um, I, I will just mention one uh, option for the each program as well. So students going to Lyon uh, will have a final semester at the industry. So this will count as internship for them. So if if needed, then uh, the students uh, assigned to Lyon study track uh, do not have to do the uh, internship during the summer. They can skip it and then do it during the last semester as their as their master thesis work. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I have another question about master's thesis at Applied Measurement Science. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could name some of the um, um, examples of uh, master's thesis, uh, which are usually students uh, writing at the department. Maybe it will give a better overview, so what uh, a student can write about. Or maybe you can direct to the website where it is. Uh, uh, they can find this information as well. Yeah, um, I can't name any specific topics I'm very sorry uh, because there is a lot of topics each year uh, for me uh, but uh, yes the web page has some overview about the uh, topics or areas that the uh, students have uh, done their thesis work and I know that our students have uh, dealt with different problems so there was one student who analyzed honey and uh, and then there there are other students that uh, analyze some biological uh, uh, organic matter mm -hmm. in in soil and, and the, the topics vary <laughs> so yeah thank you very much yes and please turn to the website and there yes. you will find the information as well or stay with us uh, mm -hmm. uh, for the next session and we will have students maybe also yeah. they have some ideas what they're going to write about because yes. they're already studying yeah they are already they are already doing their master's thesis at least uh, one of them should be <laughs> Yes, I have one more uh, admission related uh, mm -hmm. question. So are there any prerequisite courses uh, from the bachelor's degree to apply to applied measurement science? Uh, you only need to have uh, at least uh, 20 CTS of uh, chemistry or physics courses. So this is the only prerequisite for, for applying for this program. So if you uh, the the courses will or your how to say your uh, transcript will be evaluated for the, the the admission office will count if you have enough chemistry or physics but uh, if you are in doubt then you can already send an email to our academic coordinator professor leto and uh, he can give you not the official opinion. The official opinion will be given after after submitting your documents uh, for the admission. But uh, he he will provide some some insight to it already. Mm -hmm. Another question regarding scholarships. So, mm -hmm. are there a scholarship for applied measurement science? So. Uh, the, the situation for the applied measurement science regarding scholarship is not that nice compared to the each program. There, there are very limited options. So one of them is uh, DORA plus. But uh, we have had students coming from uh, outside Estonia with their own governmental uh, scholarships. 
But yeah, unfortunately, the, the, the scholarships provided for the AMS program are not that, uh, not that uh, great. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Thank you for your answer. Um, the next question is more related to uh, the amount of practical work that mm -hmm. should be done within the program, which is not indicated which program. Uh, so, but I assume there is a lot of practical work in labs uh, uh, required, mm -hmm. of course. So, yes, they are both very practice oriented uh, courses. Uh, uh, the AMS program contains labs in uh, chemistry and physics. And the, each program uh, mainly has chemistry labs. Uh, during the first semester, you will not have that much access to the labs. You, this is the semester that you have to get acquainted with the university and that's why. But in, in the spring, there will be more lab courses and a very intensive lab course that uh, in analytical chemistry. So. I would say uh, quite enough. <laughs> you should expect a lot of practice and a lot of time spending in the lab. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 one day per week in, in the lab, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I have also another question regarding admissions, about the admission criteria for applied measurement science. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think you have mentioned during your presentation about that, but what is taken into account when you are selecting applicants for the program? Mm -hmm. Yes, the applied measurement science uh, looks at the GPA from the previous study level, from the bachelor level then, and then uh, uh, the motivation letter will be graded and um, the GPA and the motivation letter grade, they have the same weight, so it's 50-50 then. Thank you very much. I can't see questions anymore and it, it's been quite a lot of questions and uh, thank you very much for answering for both programs because it was like yeah. quite quite a lot, let's say. But yes, uh, please remember to, if you want to apply to applied measurement size, science, please remember the deadline of 15th of March. Don't miss the deadline and apply and join us already next academic year. Mm -hmm. And then if you would like to apply to our another program in excellence in, uh, excellence in analytical chemistry, then please uh, start your application already in November. Yes, exactly. So it's a, it's a dif different timing, so be be prepared and thank you for all the questions and thank you for joining. Thank you for being with us. Uh, thank you for listening to our presentations. We hope that uh, uh, you got answers to your questions today. And uh, I also would like to invite you to the next session, which is going to be conducted with students from the same program. So the students are going to talk about their experience of studying, living in Estonia, even relocation from their own countries to Estonia, how, we, how it was for them and how the studies are going, what kind of of uh, amount of uh, uh, work they have every day, how much time they shoot in labs. So all of this we are going to discuss uh, during our next session. So please don't miss it. Maybe you also can find uh, uh, some uh, students that you can later uh, contact if you have some questions about life. So this is going to be very useful and will give you like more bigger overview about these two wonderful programs that are looking to for you to apply. <laughs> so thank you very much and uh, see you soon. Stay with us.